we're going to add some clip art to this. It is very easy to do and work with and I think you'll find that you enjoy it. You first need to make sure you are in the insert tab and then choose clip art. Just like other Microsoft applications, when you choose clip art on the right hand side it brings up the clip art task pane. You need to type in what it is you're looking for. I'm going to type in money. As soon as you do that, based on where you're asking it to look and what kind of media files you've asked it to find, it will come back with a list of choices. You can look down the list. Um, notice that the ones that have nothing in the lower left-hand corner, those would be the ones that would be located on your computer. If you see this little symbol in the left-hand corner, it indicates that it is located on the Internet and you would have to have a current and active Internet connection for that to work. Choose the clip art image that you want. You can simply click in the middle of it or you can choose from the drop-down list of choices to insert, copy, or any of the other options that are available. For ease, I'm simply going to click in the middle of it and it will appear on my page. Sizing an object is easy. It usually never comes in the right size. Simply move your mouse onto the sizing handles. I prefer a corner one because it will size two sides at once and keep it in proportion. And then moving the object or the picture is just as easy. You're going to place your mouse inside of it. Notice your mouse is a four-headed arrow as you do that. Sizing a double arrow and moving that four-headed arrow. Remember that this is a special object, so like other special objects that you've used, there will be a new ribbon that has been added and a special tab for formatting your picture tools at the top. Those contextual tabs do get added at the end, and remember that you must have your picture selected in order to use those choices. As you look through the ribbon, we were just sizing. Notice in the far right hand side of the ribbon there's also a crop. You could click on that. It brings the cropping marks forward and you can actually crop out part of your image. That extra space I thought I didn't want along the edges. I want to get a little closer to my picture. From within there you also could type a specific width or height. So remember the quick and easy things you do with, um, within the program itself, typically there's something for that in the ribbon up above. I'm going to size this a little bit smaller and then move it up toward my spreadsheet that I have working with here. Now I've got my image sized about the same size as my worksheet and it kind of maybe looks like it would flow in there, although the coloring of it isn't very good. So again, one more thing I'm going to do is look in my ribbon. I'm going to choose to recolor it and as I slide my mouse down on these I see what it will do and I'm headed toward the blue variations to see if I can get something that might look a little bit better with the color scheme that I'm using and when I find one I like I'm simply going to click on it to choose it and I have resized, cropped, and recolored my image. So you can see there's many things that you could do with pictures very easily and very quickly that you couldn't before. You're going to have a lot of fun working with these.